family, Christina Maria back with another video. Man, head size. They're literally uh, suffocating my energy field. Um, I did an EMF reading earlier this morning. It was pretty fucking high. And then they turn it off because they don't want to get caught. Like, they try to sit here and play stupid and hard and all this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, they don't want to get caught. But they want to be seen. Like, <laughs> like, they're so stupid. They don't even make fucking sense. It's, like, so immature how they act. Like, even their arrogance, I just laugh at it. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck are you guys doing? They're all rolling in the muck. And the wickedness and evil. Like, look what we can do. We're special. <laughs> Fucking little rap tarts. They're, we're rolling. Look at we can do. Fucking little stewards, bro. They're all showing off, trying to compete all the fucking time. It's like there's no competition, bro. You're rolling in the fucking filth and calling it something. Look, we're special. <laughs> like, bro. Like, what the fuck? And it's like the most boring fucking thing I've ever experienced, dude. I think I'm going insane from just complete boredom in my fucking head because they offer fucking nothing it's like here's the technology and we're just gonna fucking party and parlay in your fucking head and your energy filled and suck you fucking dry and they're all rolling around and fucking all kind of shit dude and i'm like looking at them like what the fuck are you doing in my head then my head in life is not spring break <laughs> what the fuck they're all rolling around in the back like, wee! And I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? It's like the worst fucking circus I've ever seen in my fucking life. But a lot of headshots, they're basically uh, smothering me. Uh, literally suffocating my energy field. Um, and trying to induce fear all the time. I just let them, like, at this point, I don't even argue with them no more. I just sit there and just let them just think that they won something. Because they act like at the end of the day that they're going to win some, I don't know, grand fucking prize. I don't know what the Illuminati or elite <laughs> has promised fucking anybody. But it's it's not my problem. And that's the way it is. It's not my problem. You know. Who sent you to me at my front door is not my fucking problem. So... <laughs> The other night, another thing that happened, um, they like to catch me when I'm fucking non-coherent, obviously, that just shows you what kind of cowards they are, um, and try to traffic me <laughs> in my sleep through the AI, through the virtual tech, and I was like, I guess I've gotten to that point where I'm mentally stronger. And I've just gotten fed up with their fucking shit. <laughs> so, all I remember is... I'm not going to get into detail because it's just fucking sick. Uh, but this guy had me in a shower. That was really nice, by the way. You can t tell the guy has lots of money. Gee, I wonder why and how. I'm sure he has a legit fucking job. And uh, makes an honest living. <laughs> had me in his bathroom. And all of a sudden, uh, he was taking his clothes off. I fucking snapped out of the hypnosis, and I fucking clapped his ass so fucking hard. I was beating the shit out of him in AI. All I saw were glasses flying and him running for his fucking life. <laughs> That's all I saw, and I was like, yeah, buddy. See, I bet you won't do that shit again. Hell nah, you ain't trying to get me. And you sure the fuck ain't touching my body inappropriately. Yeah, all right. Clap his little ass. Send a thunderclap to that back like crack. <laughs> hey, all of a sudden he looked so innocent when he looked at me. I got like a glimpse of him for like five seconds. He looked so fucking innocent. I knocked the wickedness out of his ass. My little bitty ass. He wasn't expecting that. He must have been a newbie. A newcomer on my channel. Cause he had me in the bathroom like he was finna do something to me. He was started taking his pants, and I'm like, hold the fuck up. I snapped out of that hypnosis and snapped on him. Bro, I was gunning it. Like, <laughs> all the TIs, if they could have seen it, they would have been so proud of me. Like, I was gun, I was going after dude. I was chasing him down. Like, nah, bro, I snatched his ass up by his shirt. Bro, see, in the AI, 
it's a totally different world. It's like The Matrix. If you've ever seen that movie, The Matrix. Or if you've ever seen that video with Post Malone. Um, I can't remember the name of the song, but it's Post Malone. And it looks like The Matrix, where they're wearing white and black, and they're going against each other. They're, like, basically fighting and battling in The Matrix. That's what it looks like in the AI. That's what we're really doing. Like, you can get kung fu in this bitch. Once you learn how to master the AI, oh, it's game over. <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. My little bitty ass turn into kung fu panda real quick. <laughs> I be snatching grown-ass men up by their shirts. Like, what you finna do, little homie? Skirt! Clack! <laughs> I be snatching them up. And there be big ones in here. Like, I'm hella fucking teeny tiny. I'm super petite. And I be, they be like grizzly bear status. Solid as fuck. I be snatching them up. Slapping them in the neck. Slapping them on the back. Slapping their bodies on concrete. Like, he ya <laughs> Then all of a sudden they channel their voice. Do, 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 do. Turn the fucking technology off. Like, what the fuck? And then sometimes it's funny as fuck because there'll be uh, newcomers that log into my channel. Uh, new perpetrators that'll log into my hive mind. And they'll come in there because I'm all the way in the AI. My targeting is a little bit different. And they'll come in there and they'll disrespect me. They'll grab on me, try to sexually assault me, harass me, this, that, and the other. And then I just fucking slap. <laughs> Click, clack. I be hitting them in the face, the necks, the backs. I be snatching them up and they're like, and I'll hear somebody in the background on B2K go, by the way, she's all the way in here. <laughs> I be snatching her ass. Some of them be young. Some of them look like they're in their early 20s. Some of them be old as fuck. But the old ones, I noticed, um, I guess they're like the main handlers. They've been doing this for so long. They already earned their stripes. They're more laid back and chill. They don't really be doing too much. It's the young ones that be parading all their ego and like, yeah, you want to fight? I'm like, shit, I done got so strong in this AI, motherfucker. Do you really? <laughs> My ass done turned into a fucking marvel in this bitch. Slapping them with thunderbolts and shit. Sending laser like ping, 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 ping. <laughs> I be riding dragon doing all kinds of shit in the AI, bro. It looks like fucking, I don't even know, never any story. It's like reading fucking rainbow in here. You can do all kind of crazy shit. I be turning into Spider-Man, all kind of shit, bro. It's fucking <laughs> And I know a lot of TIs can relate, but it's just, it's like a new environment that you're being submitted to. It's all virtual. Um, I want completely out of it. Like, I want nothing to do with the technology. I want to be as organic as possible. Um, having a natural human experience. But because I'm entangled with this AI technology... They're trying to turn everything into, like, humanoid status, uh, AI, virtual. And after a while, like, I used to think it was so fucking cool. Like, oh, look, I can do this, I can do that. Now, it's so fucking boring. I just want my life back. Like, I just, like, right now, I'm fixing to go to the mall, and it's like, to buy a pair of pants, and I'm not going to even be able to enjoy it. <laughs> It's like they totally numb your vibrations and energy filled out and just assault you all day. But, you know, it is what it is. But I guarantee they ain't going to be taking me to no bathrooms no more. <laughs> Dude got whooped, bruh. It was awful. I felt sorry for him afterwards. I fucking cracked on his ass. Unleashed and unlocked the beast. Went fucking ham on his fucking ass. He turned and looked at... I saw the most innocent looking face too. That shit was crazy as fuck. Like all of a sudden his mind control turned off. <laughs> I knocked the mind control out of that dude, bruh. That shit was fucking hilarious. But anyways, you guys, I'm still here. I'm being hit in the heart. They're threatening me with heart attack still. They're hitting me so hard and frying my brain. I can barely see straight right now.
but I'm still moving forward. I'm still going to do what I want to do. Like right now, I'm going to the mall. It's Saturday. I go skating, trucking every Saturday. I'm still going to go. Like they're trying to disrupt my vibration and feeling good about going, but I'm still going to go no matter what. They're telling me I can't go. And they're trying, they're trying to oppress me from everything at this point. Like, they want me in the fetal position, not being able to move. Um, they want me to crawl on the bed and just allow them to have their way with me. And it's not happening. <laughs> not at all. Not today. Not today. It ain't happening. I'm going to keep on pushing, keep on moving forward. But anyways, you guys, I'll update my stats later. I love you guys so much. Stay strong on the battlefield.